Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be flashing over Jetpack Mod V8 by Rahul Rules uh, over on XDA. I got requested uh, by him to uh, make a uh, flashing video for him so here it goes. It's a um, XWJW1, that was hard to say, 2.3.6 uh, based ROM. Uh, I'll be flashing the wipe version. I'll link down in the description the um, the download links. Um, well, I'll I'll put the XDA link, and from there you'll see the wipe and no wipe version. I'm presuming no wipe version will be useful for people already on Jetpack mod, um, coming from other Jetpack mod versions. So right, um, first of all, we want to get into download mode, and what we're going to do is go from uh, all the way from the beginning. So um, first of all, we're going to flash over the JW1 base. So we're going to connect up our phone. Oh, actually, before connecting up our phone, oh, I forgot to show you on the computer. You're going to want want to set up Odin. So on Odin, it's very simple. For PIT, uh, what you want to download is the is the pre-flashing kit. It's called over on XTA. Um, you'll be able to find it over here right there there's the link and that will download your pre-flashing kit extract that and you'll get a folder within the folder you'll get um, a full file I think a full file ROM so uh, the PIT is there 512 PIT and then over PDA uh, you want to put code um, for phone you want to put modem and then for CSC you want to put CSC home multi once that's set up and once uh, Odin's set up, you want to plug in your phone. When you plug in your phone, uh, Odin will recognize it and you want to hit start. So it's pretty much as simple as that. So first of all, we're flashing over the base um, as in 2.3.6 and then after that uh, we will be uh, flashing over the ROM uh, via clockwork recovery. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys after uh, Odin has finished. Right, so the phone just booted up, I can take out the wire and I can close Odin. And so I can just go to setup quickly. There you go, I'm on um, ginger, well, gingerbread <laughs> XWJW1. So there we go. So right now, so we've got that, uh, but what we're going to need is we're going to need root. And to get root, we're going to need a custom kernel. And for a custom kernel, uh, by the looks of it, the best thing to do is either CF root uh, or semaphore kernel. In this case, uh, today I'm going to be using semaphore kernel um, because I'm used to semaphore kernel a little bit and I find it has extra functionalities which I like. So as you can see, I can turn off the phone and what we're going to do is download um, semaphore 2.1.1 and we're going to go into download mode and download mode as we did before. So now we're going to go back up. You can go in your pre flashing kit again, open Odin, and go into PDA and find where you put your semaphore kernel. In, on my, for my case, in my case, there we go, it's on the desktop. So we can open, and there you go, now it's on uh, the PDA. So now we want to connect up the phone, and there you go, phone is connected and now we can hit start. This should be super quick and bang your phone has now a custom kernel on it and semaphore 2.1.1 so now we can go back to the phone right so now it's booted up we can disconnect the phone and we can close Odin just to show we're on semaphore kernel there you go 2.1.1 and we're still on um, XWJW1 so there we go Right, so now I'm going to go into development options, well, USB debug mode, I'm just going to tick that just to make my life easy and click unknown sources and I'm going to connect up the phone and what we're going to do now is put the ROM into our internal SD card, get rid of GPS and auto rotation. Right, so now the phone is going to say hello to us, I'm going to say hi there, how you doing? Very nice, thank you very much. And um, over here I've got Jetpack V8 ICS animation and I've got Jetpack V8 wipe. 
So I'm going to copy across these two and put them into an internal SD card. To make sure your internal SD card, you will know the one which says external SD card on it. Uh, and your external SD card will be a separate drive right there. As you can see, it's all messy and everything. I wiped my internal SD card before I um, uh, flashed over uh, the base so I could get a nice clean installation. Right, so now it's copied across. We can go down to our phone. Disconnect. And we're going to need to power off. Once it's powered off, go up, home, and power. Instead of going in download mode this time, as you're going up, you go into recovery. And there's recovery for you. So what we're going to do is um, go and install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and go to the v8wipe.zip and flash it over right so um, give it a good uh, five minutes uh, you'll have a black screen do not worry just give it a good five minutes and then suddenly it'll boot up um, so <laughs> it's picked up its French which is brilliant okay to Wi-Fi as you can see it's uh, wipe my Wi-Fi, so right there you go. It's already booted up. That was super quick. I'll change the language for you guys. First of all, oh, it's up. Right, so there you go. Just to show you, it's on Semaphore kernel. Two point three point six. You can see my PDA is on JW1, my phone is on JVT, my CSC is unknown at the moment. Right, um, and so now I can flash over uh, my boot animation uh, via Clockwork Recovery. I can also flash over some um, themes. Um, there's a theme jetpack mods. Uh, I will link that down in the description as well. Um, it's you can customize it for or to look like ICS and um, it looks pretty cool and looks really nice and I'm pretty sure I'll try that out so yeah I hope you've enjoyed that vi uh, this video guys uh, please do rate comment and subscribe and um, yep yeah, take care and um, yeah see you guys bye bye